I think it's spooky time because what's more spooky than a retainer? Is this game a spooky game? I'm playing on a console, so I have to endure the indignity of a load time. Playing on the old Xbox. Ah, good, yes. I do appreciate disclosures like this. Like it doesn't have to be a warning, this will, this will bum you out kind of thing, but just like, hey, be aware that this kind of content is here, just so you don't stumble across it. If you have negativity tied to certain subjects, I, I understand that it sucks to trip into that accidentally. It's nice to have time to put your, like, defenses in place. The story you are about to live is shaped by its details, observing everything will lead you to the truth. I find most horror games play with being unclear about whether or not your actions have story significance or not. Um, horror games typically never spell out everything right away, which is fun. I think it's part of the vibe. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me. I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. Ah, uh, tears on the page. Even blotting the ink? Man. There's blistering waves of art happening right now. It's an effective intro. I always like it when there's a, a dark, oppressive atmosphere, and then nature is is also there. Like, it's such an easy way to ratchet up the tension of a, of a horror scenario by surrounding you with, with elements that are... that also just want to murder you. Very, very Shining vibes, for sure. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Better not be jump scares. Yeah, who knows what kind of spooky game is gonna, gonna, gonna be... What what sort of what sort of spice spooky are we are we dealing with here? I guess it's the the depth of field intensely depth of field spice. Is that Commodore sixty four? Yeah, or a com computer. <laughs> Man, sick! This is a very cozy nineteen ninety two room. Yeah, I don't have a window, but I got this picture of Montana, and when I look at it, I kind of feel like I'm outside. Imagine sitting here. Doing your fucking desk job in 1992. Having like an inbox and an outbox. That's why they call them that in the email. And you just have your papers and you go through and you fucking scribble on them or something. You tippity tap away in your slow ass computer. And drink your bur burned coffee. And you look at your picture of Montana. Eight and a half, nine hours a day and then you go home. Okay, so the, I think the, the hotel's been defunct since the 80s. And then the owner passed, leaving it to you, your son of a bitch dad who cheated on your mom. That's not... is that just literally the, uh, the shining carpet? It's, it's close, at least. Uh, mm, it's close. It's close. I think, I think we can safely call that, uh, we can lock that in together and call that, call that a reference. We can solidly call that a reference, given that it's a snowed-in hotel. Yeah. The glaring, the sparkle, oh, I mean the shinning. Just from a game dev perspective, like, having the outside be snowy means you don't have to worry about, about, like, environment boxes very much. That looks, that looks great from across the room, you know? Hmm. Is my dad some kind of nerd? I'm gonna have to beat up my dad. He's a nerd who cheated on my hot mom. Ugh. I'm gonna throw this out there. I really like old magazine spread advertisements. Because it's like... It's like the best photography and typography and layout. I love how that stuff can present like a, a brand identity of being like classy or young or European like is the most generic terms. But if there's one thing I love, it's like looking at photography and typesetting and trying to figure out how it makes me feel. I think you have to have a, I think you have to have a, an amazing understanding of graphic design. It has to be your passion. And your curse. <laughs> what an utter geek, huh? What could that possibly be coming from? We ought to agree right now. In any of our individual lives, if we're ever like taping pieces of paper like this to the wall, it's just like, it's time to take a nap. It's just time to chill. Put the coffee down. Go soak in a tub for a little bit. Just go to sleep. Call it a day. So that lady's getting like hard railed, right? I mean... I, this isn't the Kama Sutra, but that lady is just getting blasted right now. <laughs> There's really no other way to see this, is there? Look at that dude's face too! You know it! He's in there. Shit. I don't think I like this. 
I don't like what I'm seeing here. here exactly the same as when me and Mom left. Oh, it's my old room. Okay. It would be excessively creepy to walk into a time capsule of your, like, childhood room. Ugh. Just, like, all the memories went in every little object, I think, that would come slamming back into you. Huh. What is this, a joke? Hello? Are you crazy? Can, can you hear me? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. I don't what? trust this. Uh, the I Twitch stream for one reason, and that's to find people to brawl with in the parking lot of a Dairy Queen. So if you want to go, we can go. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man. To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! I'm gonna guess that's more of a reference to her dad. And not uh, a defiant a defiant and bold proclamation of, of social justice from this game. I just think she's on edge because she's uh, maybe being reminded of her, her bad relationship with her dad. Oh, there's some haunted auras in here. I'm exhausted of like, they were dead the whole time. Stories. I guess the last one that I played that where I got that impression. Oops. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Really? I mean, I guess I didn't. Okay. Oh, boy. I guess I really haven't done that much. Did a lot of looking around. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist. You know, you're not the first man. To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait. Bye. Oh, that, that line. That line's a little, a little eye rolly. Oh, shit. Well, this got intense. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Take back the car. Get away before the storm arrives. Oh, it's in the garage. Okay, God. Silly. It's absolute silliness. I did it, you guys. I've done the impossible. I can't find my car keys. <clears throat> my fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh. Fine. Talk to a man. A gross, sweaty, domineering man. I'd like to give you some advice. If it oh. comes with a job. You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Dirty, stinky uh, man later. giving me unsolicited advice. Talk to me again when you can have a child, cis man. I'm stuck. Shit. But, good news, you're a ghost. Actually, that... That actually may, you know, you might be dead. We are dealing with a walking simulator, so you better get used to exposition. What are they gonna use, imagery? It's 1991. You are, you have inherited this hotel because your dad has died. Your relationship with your dad is complicated because he cheated on your mom with a mistress who committed suicide. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive about all the ghosts well, don't expect a five-star menu oh oh really uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry shiny let me guess canned beans right bean soup baked beans potatoes and beans bean broth <laughs> bean Starving broth certainly seems like an acceptable option irving are you at the furnace he's waiting for me he's down there what oh boy uh, who Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting. I'm getting <laughs> Firewatch vibes out of this so far. I used to hide like, down there with hotel guest kids. Slightly flirtatious. Ghost to come and get extremely millennial dialogue. Colder watch. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, that made me giggle. That made me giggle out my G fuel. Damn it. Uh. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I don't know why that one hit. Where should you start the furnace for the hot water? Boiler room. Alright. Bet when I start this boiler, something scary's gonna happen. You know? Might be a little bang. Might be a little ping. I'm gonna need some more scares. I'm gonna need a spook or two. After that. I'm gonna need something to scarify me in a minute. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. 
and then they left. Oh no. Give me some good news. Don't train me to dislike this sound. Like yeah. My old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. How does that make you feel? They teach some what? classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. Yeah, dog, we don't talk about that shit right now. This FEMA agent has already made like a he like put a wig on a broom and he drew a face on it and he's like, ah. I feel like we've known each other for years. Hey, I just wanted to call the, to ask, like, hey, if I annoy you, that, that's not a, hey, anyway, okay, I'm gonna hang up now. <laughs> no, you, you hang up first. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> hey, hey, do you, do you like, do you like bands? <laughs> cause, cause I, uh, I play the bass. <laughs> please, please get weirder. I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can deal. I don't know that I can deal with this this weird flirting. I'm kind of excited to see where this goes, though. This is taking swerves I wasn't expecting, but I think I'm into it. I think I'm into it. It's <laughs> this is kind of exciting. I want to know where this is gonna go if it goes anywhere. I can't. Ugh. Gee. Oh, it was loading. Okay. I have. <gasps> I like woke up standing in a big cold room. Morning. Yeah. Where's my phone? Hey. 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 Wait. You didn't sleep, like, at all. I. Thought you might need something, and but I. All right. Didn't go so home. that's this is like Max creepy now, me? right? I'm a workaholic. Unironically, yes. Okay, good. Please start reacting to how weird this is, lady. You had a weird night. You mentally like retracted into being 14 again. This shit is weird, man. Bean juice. In my stomach, bean juice. Bean juice. For baked beans. Oh, don't ever say that, man. Bean broth. I got some bean juice for you. Hey. You smash the phone against the wall. Alright, I will freeze to death alone. Uh, are we going maximum cringe? I think for we are. A while I hit an ant farm yes, we closet. are. Yes, we are. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Hey, hey, so what do you, mm, how do you feel about bugs? They're doubling down on a tone. This is absolutely the dining room. All right. Butt steak. God, those prices though, huh? I'll be swimming in French fried shrimp. Oh. This door opens now. Beans. Beans. Thinking about damn beans. Also, kind of BS. I'm pretty sure nutrition labels were not mandated back in the '70s. <gasps> oh! Hey, you kidding? Guys, the situation has become dire. No. My phone doesn't work. No! I'm going to freeze in this very scary area. Help! Help! Oh! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Well, I got my, my beans. I got my bean soups. Do I have to, like, go to the kitchen and find a microwave or something? What am I doing here? You say the microwave like I know what, where that is. Oh, well, that was easy. Bean microwaving sim 2020. Please give me a tension-laden bean-eating sequence. That is huge. That's like a full... That's like this big. That mug... Mug lunch can bean. There's no mug that that's that, that's that big. This woman ate uh -huh. like five pounds of beans just now. Yeah, seven pounds, five ounces of beans. This woman just knocked back 3,600 calories of beans in like 20 seconds. Two minutes microwave. Man, there'd be like a nuclear top layer and then the rest of the beans would be ice cold. They'd be frozen, which, uh, yeah, also, by the way, can of beans was in the freezer. This girl is definitely my kind of woman. 
I've never seen a woman take a can of beans like that in my life. I'm confused and scared. Ah. Okay, that was actually a sound. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna see- something fell, I think. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, after investigating, I can safely say that it was a ghost, and this house is definitely haunted. So, things are getting scary. Maybe the game's point is that the real horror is that when millennials try to hook up with each other. They're always stammering and giggling and fucking... I guess technically these aren't millennials, huh? Murder eyes, that's cute. Um, I guess if it's the 90s, these are Gen Xers. Eh. Gen Xers flirting was, it was equally cringe, I think, man. Go watch Reality Bites and try not to, try not to like writhe into, into the floor. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! Got him. The fucking handset is bolted to the phone. Got him. Told his ass. Fucking... Suck my clam. Can't say shit. Strong woman here, coming through. You pissed at me? <laughs> like I want- I would just, just like slow-mo, the phone would just drop out of my hands and hit the floor. Just, right now. <laughs> they can go get fucked. Every one of them. God. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Got him. Yeah. 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 And she goes and hugs her teddy bear real hard. Mm. Got their ass. Said a grown-up word, because I'm feeling wrong. Feeling wrong to you about stuff. 